The title of the research is Conservation and Management of Large Carnivores in Serbia. Can a passive approach lead to a positive outcome? A passive approach I will explain later, but first of all I would like to introduce the problematics with large carnivores in Serbia. We did not take into consideration the wolverine, nor the jackal, because the because uh, it is uh, only in recent uh, time that uh, we uh, has the, the golden jackal uh, come into research. Uh, we wanted uh, to uh, speak of uh, uh, bear uh, and uh, lynx and uh, wolf. Uh, the population is uh, similar as in Europe. As uh, for the question, what is the situation in Serbia? Uh, there is a, a paper from uh, 1987, uh, 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 he spoke of uh, uh, a situation which is uh, practically uh, unclear uh, in uh, comparison to the previous period, but it is very different. Uh, first of all, about uh, the bear, the bear is uh, uh, the least uh, familiar of uh, the three uh, large carnivores in Serbia. Uh, and more intensive uh, research of the bear uh, started before uh, eight years ago. Uh, before that, uh, we knew that uh, the bear is present uh, in Serbia, but, and we even hunted it, but uh, scientific research uh, did not exist. Unlike the wolf, uh, which uh, uh, in some uh, hunting statistics uh, was mentioned, and the lynx, uh, which uh, in the 1970s and 1960s uh, uh, was uh, uh, was uh, researched by Professor Georgi Milic. Uh, there is uh, approximately 65 uh, uh, individuals, if we do not uh, count uh, the territory of Kosovo and uh, Metohija. Uh, the population is stable. And we even have uh, data of uh, a small increase uh, in uh, population abundance uh, in uh, the last years. Uh, legislation uh, uh, protects uh, bears uh, and uh, uh, hunting regulation protects uh, bears. Uh, during the whole year. The problems uh, which uh, the bears uh, have in Serbia uh, is uh, illegal hunting, uh, damages uh, from, uh, from bears, uh, and the perception of people uh, is uh, relatively positive. People who come from villages and who have crops uh, have uh, bad opinions of bears. Uh, later on, I will show you the distribution uh, of bears in Serbia. Uh, as for wolves, uh, in Serbia there is approximately between 800 and 900 individuals uh, and uh, 200, uh, approximately 200 individuals are uh, hunted uh, yearly. As for protection, uh, and the hunting status of uh, wolves is interesting because uh, uh, the law uh, on environment protection uh, strictly protects uh, wolves uh, where they are not uh, present. Uh, uh, so uh, hunting uh, uh, is allowed uh, where uh, the wolves are present, and this will be uh, more elaborate to explain uh, later on. Uh, 
As I have mentioned, around uh, 200 uh, individuals are uh, 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 harvested uh, yearly, but uh, this varies. Uh, the perception of wolves is relatively negative. Links a completely different situation. Uh, two populations are present in Serbia, uh, in uh, the uh, east uh, and uh, uh, Carp Carpatian uh, links. The Carpatian links uh, has a stable population uh, and there is a small increase uh, in its population, but uh, the Balkanian uh, links uh, is uh, showing decline in its population. The lynx is uh, strictly protected, uh, it has uh, an ongoing protection, so only hunting is illegal hunting and we do not uh, have data on the amount of uh, uh, illegal harvest. Uh, the damages uh, caused by lynx uh, are uh, unknown and therefore uh, the perception of people uh, of is positive regarding lynx. Uh, I have shown these maps uh, in uh, earlier presentations. This is the distribution of uh, bears in Europe and in Serbia. And this is our addition to the biology of uh, bears uh, in uh, Europe. And you can see in Serbia, we have three populations of bears, the Carpathian bears, uh, the uh, Alpinska uh, uh, population and the Balkan population. And this is the Balkan population. Uh, so in Serbia, uh, uh, the area of uh, uh, populations uh, is uh, as follows. As for wolves, uh, wolves are found in the central Serbia and Vojvodina, but is also found uh, in the west uh, and uh, in the uh, 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 in the north. And finally, the lynx. We have the Carpathian population area, the Balkanian links uh, almost uh, no data uh, in West Serbia, and there is some uh, uh, data from uh, Kosovo and Metohija which uh, were not uh, uh, checked. This population is expanding and uh, some individuals are found uh, in Bulgaria after many years because it's uh, expanding its uh, area. Uh, this is a picture with all of our bears, which uh, uh, were, uh, uh, there are also lion, uh, lions and uh, uh, wolves. This is a bear from an enclosed uh, area. We did not uh, want to uh, find something about uh, uh, large carnivores, but we wanted to uh, stop uh, uh, a problem with uh, the introduction, uh, import of uh, bears from uh, Slovakia. During these years, uh, uh, there have been many researches. This is the project of translocation of two bears uh, from the west uh, to the east of Serbia, which was realized in 2005 and 2006. One of these two bears was uh, marked by a GPS device, a GSM uh, uh, and This is the bear called Milica, and the other bear was called uh, Jura. Uh, this is maybe not the first time in history, but uh, the first time uh, in uh, the last 10 years that uh, two ministries uh, collaborated on a project. We were also supported by uh, the Norwegian Foundation for Research, uh, where uh, NGOs uh, helped us uh, uh, research uh, large carnivores in Serbia. Uh, from 2006 to 2009. The agricultural faculty from Belgrade uh, helped us, and the Institute for Biological Research also 
had a project uh, which dealt with the damages uh, and the possibility of reduction of damages caused uh, by large carnivores uh, to uh, domestic animals. And we also finished uh, and we are supposed to publish the results of uh, non-invasive uh, uh, sampling of bears uh, for genetic analysis where we profiled, uh, genetically profiled part of the population uh, of uh, bears in, uh, West, uh, in West Serbia. And these are pictures taken uh, for in th during three projects uh, which are ongoing. Uh, but uh, in the first and second phase of uh, the uh, between the first and the second phase of uh, the three which were planned, uh, there was a pause uh, of uh, two years. The second problem concerning the management of large carnivores uh, is uh, the human uh, uh, perception and the human, uh, uh, dim human dimension uh, in that aspect. So we have uh, bear hunting which is illegal bear hunting, which is almost uh, 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 no longer f found in Serbia, uh, because in Serbia there is no, uh, no protected areas uh, uh, for uh, bears. Uh, then uh, uh, the capturing of uh, wolves, not uh, only because we are taking wolves out of their natural habitat, but because uh, uh, autochthonous uh, wolves uh, uh, and wolves uh, are uh, uh, mixed with uh, the uh, wolves which are uh, held uh, in uh, enclosed areas. And there is an example of lynx, uh, which uh, has a uh, permanent protection, and uh, he is, uh, it's not available for uh, scientific uh, research. Uh, all data uh, are uh, protected because anyone who has any kind of uh, uh, proof of uh, the existence of links does not want to publish it or make it public. What are the problems uh, and the challenges uh, concerning the management of large carnivore populations in Serbia? One of the problems uh, is the change of legislature, uh, especially in the case of wolves, where everything remains the same in practice. Uh, luckily, the wolf population in Serbia is vital enough uh, to survive uh, such uh, practices. Uh, there is uh, data in writing uh, concerning this uh, large problem with uh, the management of wolves, uh, especially in southern Banat. And uh, then uh, the cessation of the research, uh, the uh, disuse of uh, planned documentation, uh, strategic plans uh, for action plans, which are uh, um, not used and which uh, were not uh, made were uh, not were made not made public. There is no uh, cooperation between the two rele relevant uh, ministries which are supposed uh, to cooperate uh, on the management of large carnivores and other uh, topics uh, concerning hunting and uh, the protection of the environment. There is no institutional a trans-border cooperation, and you saw that large carnivores uh, uh, connect uh, a lot of uh, countries, uh, neighboring countries uh, to Serbia. And uh, then there is uh, uh, the links uh, uh, in uh, South uh, Serbia, uh, which is expanding and has enough, uh, large enough population uh, to be, uh, be introduced into the hunting uh, with uh, some uh, uh, protected uh, uh, number of individuals. Uh, the, so in order to